What's up, y'all? It's Coach Yolanda. Y'all ain't seen me in a minute on video. But you know, I felt like this morning when I woke up, it was some things on my heart, within my core, within my soul, that I needed to share. Because as a mom, as a businesswoman, as a career woman, as an entrepreneur, there are a lot of things that we go through and that we have to do for others that takes a lot out of us. And in order to see the change that we want to happen with everyone that's in our circle, we have to be the change that we desire. We have to put forth the effort to make it happen, even when we know it might not, it's a possibility, it will not. But if we believe and we have faith and we have God, we can make anything possible because the word itself, impossible, has possible in it. So I'm here to come to you ladies today to talk to you from my heart, to talk to you from my soul, to talk to you from my core, to talk to you about the things that I know that I needed to do within myself in order to see the change that I desire to see in everyone else that was around me. Because who you reflect in your circle is what you are. If you reflect negativity, you will be negative. If you reflect ignorance, you will be ignorant. If you reflect a disastrous situation, and you are around disastrous situations all the time, that will be what you will become. And you are way better than those negative things. You are way better than any of those things because you are a woman of strength, of power, of light, of things that people desire. And you have to do better in order to be better. So, it is your girl, Coach Yolanda. And I'm here to express to you everything that I know that I had to deal with within myself to see the change that I wanted to see within everyone else. And that's why I'm saying today, it's called change. Change starts within. Change starts with you. Change doesn't start with nobody else in your circle. You can't blame nobody else in your avenue, in your circle, in your, in your life. You can't blame them for the things that you are going through. You can't blame them for the things that are happening to you because this thing called life is real. It's so real. It's so real that sometimes you are in awe and sometimes you are in disbelief because you can't believe half the stuff that's happening to you. But what you won't do, what you can't do, is not give up. You won't give up. Because you know that life is about survival and the weak do not survive. We have to stay focused. We have to do the things that most don't want to do. And we have to empower and enlighten and encourage others that are going through so much in their life. Because everyone looks to you for the, for the answers. They look to you to see things that are impossible to be possible. So I'm talking to you today because I want to talk about change. And I want to talk about how change comes from within. Now, when I first started out um, in the entrepreneur world and um, even in my career, when I started out in my career, I knew that I wanted something better than what I was seeing. I knew that I wanted better for my children. I wanted better for myself. I just wanted better. I didn't know what better looked like, but I knew I just didn't want to be in the same situation that I was in. And I knew that eventually I had to come up with some type of crazy idea or some type of belief system that was going to push me further than what I ever expected myself to be pushed. And it's a scary situation when you're trying to change. And the reason I say it's a scary situation when you're trying to change is because no one understands what you're going through when you're in that moment and you're changing and you're seeing things and you are doing things that no one ever thought that you were going to do. And when your conversation piece isn't the same, well, girl, yeah, we was watching Empire. I have no idea what that is because I don't watch that. Couldn't tell you about it. Couldn't tell you nothing about it. The only thing I know is I've seen a couple of previews on TV. And the only person I know that's in that is Taraji P. Henson. That's it. 
I couldn't tell you the storyline. I couldn't tell you what they talk about. I couldn't tell you who did what. I don't even have a clue. And that's because when I started to change my output of what I'm putting in my mind, the things that I started to look at and the things I started to watch and the things I started to do on a daily basis started to change within me. In order to see the change, you have to be the change. And it's not because I want to be better than other people. Because that's not what it is. Because I was never raised to think that I was better than anybody. It's because I want better for myself. I want to see myself do things that I know that I couldn't accomplish on my own without the grace of my heavenly father and without my family by my side and without my husband giving me those encouraging words every single day to say, baby, you are worth it. You are worthy. You can do this. It's about living for you and not about living for no one else. So when I say you have to be the change within, you have to start within yourself. You have to have that deep conversation within yourself. The one that you hate to have. The reality, the, the thoughts that start going in your mind when you're thinking to yourself, do I really want to do this? What are people going to say about me? What's going to happen? Is my family going to believe in me? Am I going to really make it? Am I going to fail? Am I going to just stop? What if I don't have anyone to help me? Those are the things that I was thinking in my mind as I was introducing myself to the entrepreneur world and introducing myself to a career, introducing myself to things that I wanted to do. I'm going to share some truth with y'all because this is my truth and this is the only way that I know how to share my truth. When I was home, it was like, I would want to say mm, some months ago. Um, I'm going to say in February, as a matter of fact, it was February 28th. I quit my job. I was making a great income with my health business. I came home and I, I stopped doing those things that I was doing before I came home. I quit my job. My husband took me out. We celebrated. You know, the first couple of weeks, I was like, yes, I can just dive in. Yes, I'm just going to go strong. Yes, I'm going to go hard. I'm going to do this. Yes. And then it was all settling in. The quietness. The kids weren't home. My husband wasn't home. The, the quietness. Everything coming to a head. And I'm saying to myself, can I really do this? Can I really make a whole life out of being my own boss? Can I really teach someone else how to be healthy? Is this really going to happen? Oh my goodness. So I started to doubt myself. The doubt started to come in. The, the, the doubt, the self, oh my goodness, I can't do this. Oh my goodness, it's so hard. Oh my goodness. You know, these people don't want to take care of themselves. Oh my goodness, the world is losing their mind. Oh my goodness, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to. I let fear and doubt cease who I was becoming. Because what I didn't understand is when fear is there and doubt is there, that's the time to grow. That's the time to go towards the doubt. That's the time to go towards the fear. That's the time for me to go towards my negativity. That's the time for me to just say, is this really going to happen? I don't even care. I'm just going to dive in. I'm going in. I don't care what's going to happen. I don't care who don't do what. I'm still staying accountable for me because I want to see the change that I know I can see in others that I'm seeing within myself. So fast forward a couple of months and the doubt is still taking over. The fear is still consuming me. I'm not doing my PD like I was doing. And that's personal development. And I think every woman on this planet should be doing personal development because it develops who you are and it helps you become stronger and it helps you become more um, mindful of the things that we feed our mind. Because you can feed your mind garbage and garbage will reflect in your life. Or you can feed your mind beautiful things, intelligent things, things that are going to take you places. And those things will start to reflect in your life. But if you aren't doing those things, then that doubt and that fear, it's just, it's just going to overwhelm you. So I fast forward and I, I, you know, I had a conversation with my husband. I'm like, honey, I, 
I, I really think I should just go back to work. You know, it's quiet at home. I, I really miss the interaction with other people and actually having those types of conversations out there in the real world. And, you know, it's okay to have conversations with women online about their health and, and you know, how they feel. And, and it's okay I have these appointments with these other women and, you know, I'm doing face-to-face -face and, and all those things. But I feel like I'm just missing something out in the real world. So I just need to go that way. And he was really like, that's what you want to do? Hmm? No, I'm just, you know, be mindful if that's what you want to do, then you do it because I'm going to back you 100%. You be mindful that if that's what you want to do, just know that you have no other alternative but just to do that because you're giving up on this. He was very real but yet very gentle with, my, with his words that came out of his mouth to me. So, you know, fast forward, I call my supervisor like, hey, yeah, I need to come back to work. Yeah, I want to come back on in and yeah, this, this and that. And, you know, things is great, but I, I, I really need to be back in the working world. I really need to be back in that field of life. And, you know, she was more than welcome to welcome me back. She brought me back in. She said, come on back, Yolanda. You are a great worker. You know, you are one of the best that we have. You come on in. You can always, you always have a place here. You come on back. So I went back in and as the time went on and, and life went on and, and reality went on, the thing started to hit me was how did you come back here when you were doing so well out there? When the only thing you had to do was step up your game and, and see the change you wanted to see within yourself by helping others, be a servant to others, help others. How did you do that, Yolanda? Even though at my, at my employment, I'm helping others. I'm helping women every single day. I'm helping people every single day on that aspect. But why did I give up on this aspect? How could I give up on myself? Because I didn't give up on nobody else but myself. That's how I looked at it. So as the time started to roll in, I had the reality check again that I failed me. I didn't fail anybody else but me. I didn't fail my children because my kids are great. They're like, hey, yeah, life is good. Yeah, mom, we're great. Don't worry about that, mom. You're good. They're still eating. They're still being fed. They're still being clothed. They're, they're still, you know, running around. They're still taking trips. They're still enjoying life. They're fine. They don't see a change in nothing. But I see a change because I failed me. And when you fail yourself... It's like you, you, you have this empathy for yourself. But at the same time, you're like, you're such an idiot. You start talking bad words to yourself. Because how can you say this doesn't work when you see it does work? When you know what you have is a gift to help others and you're quitting because you're afraid. You're scared of doubt. You're scared of fear. You're scared someone's going to say, oh, no, I don't need your help. That's life. People say it all the time when you go into a car dealership or when you go into a um, um, what a, a market. You got to make this decisive decisions on if you're going to buy whole wheat or white bread. You, you're making a decision if you're going to buy a, a Ram or an Escalade. You, you're making decisions. So a decisions are what we make every single day. So I had to tell myself. That these are the decisions that I've made that's keeping me in the place that I am because I am scared to move forward. I'm scared to put myself out there. I'm scared to go further than what I know I can do. I'm scared to show up every single day. I'm scared that someone's going to question my abilities to do what I know I have these skills and the mindset to do. I'm scared to keep feeding myself the knowledge that I know I'm able to make it. I'm scared. Because there could be sunlight at the end of the tunnel. I'm scared because there's a little light, but I don't want to go too far out the light because I might just love it over there. I'm scared. And I had to understand that that fear is something that I had to work on. To, to keep quitting on myself is something that I had to work on. To be a better individual is something that I had to work on. So, Excuse me, when I talk about change, I had to be the change that I had to be within myself. I had to see change within me to know that I want better for me, that I don't want to be the same person I used to be, that I want to see my kids run around and, and just be great, you know, and just enjoy life because life is to be enjoyed. And I know for a fact that I was not put on this earth just to work and pay bills. That's boring. That's not living. 
So I say all of this to tell you is that change starts within and it has to come from you. You have to feed yourself things that you want to see happen within your life. If you want a better paying job, you have to do personal development on yourself to get the job that you want. If you're ready to now start a career, then you have to change within yourself to start the career that you want. If you're tired of taking orders from someone else and you want to be an entrepreneur, I'm here to tell you that that road is not easy. That is one of the most difficult roads to travel, but it builds your strength. It builds your character and it builds who you are you get you get skin of just you know roughness because that world is not pretty that side is not beautiful but as you're going through it you're developing things that you never knew possible within yourself to be better than you used to be and to help others in order to be the change you have to in order to see the change you have to be the change so you have to be things that you know that are possible and you have to help people see that they have greatness within themselves. I am a health coach. I do what I do because I have a passion for what I do. I have my career because I have a passion for helping others. It's not because I'm just doing it to get a paycheck. You can get any job to get a paycheck. Anything. You can go anywhere and get a paycheck. You can work at McDonald's, Target. You can work at Walmart. You can work anywhere and get a paycheck, the newspapers, like anywhere to get a paycheck. But do you have a passion for what you do? If you have a passion for what you do, you have to build upon your passion and you have to let that come out. You have to explore this beautiful life because it's about being who you are and you can't be nobody else but you. I can't be no one else but Yolanda because everyone else is taken. And if I can't be true to who I am, then I can't be me. I can't be Yolanda. So I want you ladies to change what you want to change about yourself and not what others want you to change. I want you to understand that there is growth within you and that you can become any and everything that you want to become. But you have to believe in yourself that that is possible and that you are capable of achieving those things. And then you have to actually have a plan on how you're going to go about that. One second. Y'all know. It's autumn. I love me some fall. Y'all love that fall hair, right? So, you have to be the change that you want to see. You are capable of so many things, but sometimes with the negativity that's around us, the negative people that's in our circle, and the us not believing ourselves, and then us not feeding ourselves what we need to feed ourselves, we forget. We just forget that we are God's gift to this world. You are a God-given gift to the world. And you, there is something within you that you have that others need that you haven't explored yet to help someone else. And you can't give up on you because if you give up on you, then you're just going to give up on your dreams. And there is nothing wrong with dreaming. There is nothing wrong with dreaming. And let no one tell you that there is. There is nothing wrong with wanting more for yourself and for your family and for your life. Because there is nothing wrong with that. It's all about how you position those things. Now, if you're putting money, fame, everything before God, then that's a problem. If you have God right by your side and he's at the forefront and you're doing these things on the, on, the, on the back end, then God says, seek first my kingdom and these things will be added to you. That's what he said. That's what he said in the Bible. And I read to my Bible now and I ain't trying to be scriptural on y'all. But if he said that, I believe that. And I know he's not a God that lies because everything that he says is the truth. Because he created me. Now I'm imperfect. Yes, I am. Sometimes I like to think I'm not, but I am, <laughs> but I had to believe in myself and I had to tell my husband, I enjoy my career, but I know I can be so much more. I'm stagnant in a career where I know I'm only going to go, but so far up that ladder. However, in my entrepreneurship, I can go as far as I want to go because that's my business. I'm building my baby from the ground up. I'm putting blood, sweat, and tears into her. I am feeding her life. I am giving her what she needs to live, which is me. I'm feeding me life. I'm breathing into myself every single day. 
That stuff doesn't come easy. But at the end of the day, you have to decide on the factors that you want to take. You have to decide on whether you want to become who you want to be or do you want to see what you want to become in someone else. Yes, I'd be happy for so many people, but I know I'm capable too. Yes, I'm, I'm, I, I love the fact that my sisters are growing their businesses and they're just exploding. And that's because they believe in themselves. They know that there is a light and that their tunnel isn't dark all the time. But if you go with the naysayers and the, 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 the cants and the negative Nancys and the, and the nosy nooses, I made that up. <laughs> Y'all know I'm tripping. You just can't find no strength. You can't find your happy place. You can't find to get yourself out of that rut because you're listening to what people are saying and it's not a great thing. There are a lot of people who don't want to see other people succeed and that's just something that's within themselves that they have to change. But it doesn't mean that you have to be what they want you to be. You have to do better for yourself because that's where your growth is. You have to do better for you because that's where your tenacity is going to come from. You have to do better for you because that's how you show people that they can do the same thing. That's how you teach others. You have to be a servant to help others in order to get the fulfillment in yourself. It's never about anything else but helping other people. And in order for me to see that change again, I said I had to see it within myself. I had to go towards my doubts and my fears. And I had to go towards that to say, yes, I can do this. I've quit on myself four different times. How do you do that? Because I'm scared. The fear had consumed me. The negative people had taken over. They had just said, oh, you don't worry about that. Go get a job. You'll be fine. Don't worry about helping people. Let them be how they're going to be. And I allowed that to consume me. I allowed that negativity to take over my thinking process. And again, like I said, what you feed this piece of machine right here, because this is a factory. This is a mini factory. And whatever we feed this mind comes out in our daily living. Whatever we feed it here comes out in our daily life. It's going to reflect all over. It's going to be what it's going to be. So if you see someone and every time you talk to them, they have nothing but negative things to say. Say that's because they haven't fed themselves the positive things to help change that negative. And it's not your job to change them. It's your job to remove yourself from that and then to continue to go on in your greatness, in your light, to see that you're better than what you want to become. I say this, ladies, because change starts with you. And I wanted you to know that my core and my soul and, and my being says that I am greater than I used to be. I've learned so much about my health and my wellness. And I am going to reflect that information into my channel. I'm going to reflect that information into my life, into my being. I'm going to reflect that information into my fan page, into my blog post. I'm going to reflect that information into my Instagram, into my Facebook, because I want women to understand that you can be what you want to become, but you got to change where you are to get there. If you want better, you have to invest in yourself. You have to develop yourself in order to get to that place. Will it be easy? Heck no. Will it be hard? Yes. Will you want to quit every single day? Will there be people that's going to bring you down? Absolutely. The world wouldn't go around if we didn't have the negative people. And it sure enough wouldn't stay afloat if we didn't have the positive people. But there is called a balance. And you have to understand that life is about what you make it. Life is about what you do. And life is about how you help others. And if you're not helping others, then there is a disconnect between you and what you believe within yourself. So, it's Coach Yolanda. And I want you ladies to enjoy life. I want you ladies to know that if you want change, it's going to happen. If you want change, it's going to appear. If you want change, it will come about. But you have to want it 
for yourself. And you have to have a plan of action to take place in order for it to happen. Because it will not happen if you have no idea where you're going. It will not happen if you're just miraculously trying to figure out how this is going to happen and you're not putting no plans into play. It just will not happen. You have to say within yourself, I am worthy. I will do this. It will happen. It's going to take place. It's going to be the best thing ever. It's going to accomplish what I need to accomplish. And I'm going to be the change that I want to see everyone else in my circle to happen so i want you ladies to enjoy this beautiful day because it's a beautiful day it doesn't matter where you're at in the world if it's raining if it's snowing if it's sunny if it's hot if it's cold enjoy the day because you were given another day to make it right you were given another day to get it together you were given another day to move forward in your growth you were given another day to move forward in your mindset to help yourself, that you can help all those around you. So I just want you to know that I believe in myself. I believe in every woman out there that wants to do better for her family, for herself, for her children, for her spouse, for whatever the cause may be for her, for anything. I believe in you, but you have got to believe in yourself. Self-doubt and negative Nancy's and fear will stop you at every sign it gets. But you cannot allow those things to take you out of where you want to be. You have to feed upon those things and you have to build upon those things and you have to move forward towards those things that will help you become a better individual. Now, <clears throat> it's Saturday. And I'm about to have a great day because I have to create things for my women. I have to show women how to be better. I have to show women how to eat healthier so they are more vibrant and they're more happier within themselves. And then they can do amazing things among the lines. Because that's what I love to do. I love to help others. Will it be easy? I keep telling you it won't. But will you love your ending results? Yes, you will, Anna May. I ain't called you anime because that's how I'm feeling today. So it is Coach Yolanda. And I want you ladies to dig deep within yourselves. And I want y'all to feel it. And I want you to build upon it. And I want you to grow within. And I want you to grab it. And I don't want you to let it go. I want you to tug a war with that thing till you get on top. Because that's where you belong. You got strength in you, girl. You got tenacity. You got the audacity to think beyond your belief, beyond what you can compare. And as long as you got God in your corner, you cannot go wrong. It doesn't matter what nobody say. It doesn't matter what they say to you. It don't matter who they say it to. It don't matter if they talk about you to the end of time. Because guess what? They talked about Jesus and look where he at. Way better than where we at. Okay? But you got to want it for yourself. You just got to dig deep within yourself. You got to know it's going to happen. Because it is. I believe in you. I believe in myself. I know it's possible. I know I'm capable. The, the the sky is the limit is what they say, but you can go beyond that. You can go beyond that because you can go anywhere you want to go and do anything you want to do as long as it's legal. And you can become amazing because you got strength. You got power. You got things in you that people have never seen, but you got to bring those out so people can see that you can make it. It's your coach. And I believe in every last one of you. And I know you're going to do better. I know you want this. I know you can. I know you will. I know you will survive and you will strive for your greatness. Because that's what we have in us. That's all we got to build upon. You lay the foundation and you build upon it. I give you the bricks to build upon it. Because we together are an unstoppable force. Enjoy your weekends, ladies. Let's make it happen. Coach Yolanda. Hey, 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 hey. I feel good. I feel like I had a message to deliver. 
and I feel so good about my message. It's just an empowering thing to myself. I, I feel teary eyed. I feel everything coming alive in me because I haven't been like this in a long time. And it just feels empowering to know that I'm making it. It just feels empowering to know that I'm doing something. And I feel great. And I want you to continue on in your life to do the things that you know you can. Because like I said, you are an unstoppable force. And let no one tell you differently. It's Coach Yolanda. And I'll see you on the inside. Peace.